and welcome to day 270 of Shakuhachi practice. If you don't already know me, my name is Andy, and I have decided to do 365 days of practicing my Shakuhachi flute. If you've seen my other videos in the series so far, you already know I like starting off each practice by pulling a card from this enchanted map oracle deck. So I'm going to pull a card, share the message, play some flute, and then carry on. While I shuffle the cards to get them ready, I am setting the intention to please receive the message that is best for my friend and I here to meditate on today. If you have an intention of your own that you would like to think of, go ahead and let that come to mind now. All right, are you feeling ready? I think I am. Let's see. one stands out. What could it be? Oh, gentle gardener. Well, this goes very well with yesterday's actually. Um, gentle gardener number two in the reversed position. So let's see what we have to learn from the gentle gardener. All right, reverse number two. Do you harbor resentments? How often do you reinforce negativity by affirming lack and limitation? Every time you send out a desire for something to secretly harbor a belief that you are undeserving of it, you plant weeds in the field of your dreams. When the gentle gardener appears, in the reverse position, she reminds you to be aware of any negative thoughts or selfish motives. She encourages you to step back and pay close attention to what thought seeds you send out into the world. Weeds choke the life out of our beautiful garden. No need to fret, however, because once you realize this, you can always remove a bad seed and replace it with a healthy one. Forgiveness is your most powerful restorative tool. Hmm. I'm not sure which part pops out at me the most right now. When the gentle gardener appears in the reverse position, she reminds you to be aware of any negative thoughts or selfish motives. I think that pretty much sums it up right there. All about awareness, right? Mindfulness, okay. Oh, speaking of mindfulness, side note, I started reading a Thich Nhat Hanh book. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's called No Mud, No Lotus by the late, great Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, yeah, sometimes life feels a little defeating, you know, and when I start to feel that way, I find it incredibly supportive and helpful to read anything written by Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, or, you know, other Buddhist-minded approaches to life I find to be very healthy and helpful, but especially Thich Nhat Hanh, the way he writes, he's such a poet. Um, so yeah, no mud, no lotus. That's how I'm trying to be aware and mindful right now. Okay, while we let the message from the gentle gardener sink in, I will play some shakuhachi. Cheers to you.
have it. There is our practice today. Thank you so much for being here and joining me. If you did like this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up and also leave a comment below on what you thought from the, or thought or felt from the message in today's card. And if you'd like to be suggested more of these videos or videos similar to them, then you can go ahead and hit subscribe. It's also a great way to support this little series that I'm making. So thank you once again, and we will do it again very soon. Bye for now.